Hey guys, so uh, I've been asked to do a like uh, more in-depth comparison here of the Nexus 6P and the S7 Edge because uh, I often get asked the question, you know, which phone is better here. Both of these are probably the best options when it comes to Android right now. Uh, whether you like the stock experience that the Nexus provides uh, or the uh, hardware and uh, the TouchWiz features that you get with the S7 Edge, you know, both of these are probably uh, going to give you the best Android experience right now, whatever, you know, you do prefer. Uh, and uh, most people, you know, I think really may uh, think that the S7 Edge has the edge over the uh, the Nexus 6P at least when it comes to the specs and you know they're probably right really when it comes to like the processor the waterproofing uh, as well as the curved display which you know gets lots of props points but then again you know I think the 6P uh, definitely has some of its own strengths which the S7 Edge can't quite muster uh, and we can just have a look at the, those things here uh, the first thing that I would say in regards to the Nexus 6P is uh, even though the they've done a really good job on the S7 Edge to make it more grippable like making the device feel a bit more kind of less sharp around the edges to me the the uh, 6P still feels better in the hand uh, I don't know what it is about the 6P but to me uh, I think it's like because it's following on from the HC1 M7 design which I really did enjoy back in the day uh, it just feels like an amazing uh, crafted piece of metal uh, the S7 Edge feels great in itself but then again you know it doesn't uh, to me feel quite as premium because it's got more of a kind of uh, like uh, rounded off design here it's difficult to put, put into words because obviously it's very subjective but uh, to me uh, I have actually discussed before I do actually enjoy the metal build a little bit more than glass builds because of the durability factor and uh, less uh, fingerprints you're going to get on the device as well uh, both of them do feel absolutely you know fantastic when it comes to premium though so I'm not slanting the S7 Edge uh, I just think that uh, the Nexus 6P build is uh, absolutely fantastic. I wish they did probably make it a bit more uniform at the top here. You know, this does get some fingerprints, but uh, it's not a huge issue uh, at the end of the day. The next thing that you may want to consider the 6P for is the price, like the savings that you're going to get. Uh, the 6P last time I checked was nearly half the price of the S7 Edge and the actual raw performance isn't actually that far off when you consider like the day-to-day -day usage of each device like if you're just opening up stuff here uh, you actually notice I still have an issue with the 6P where sometimes it opens up in horizontal and I think they could be my device only which I might need to get like a warranty for that but when it does like properly open up uh, you'll notice that there is very little in terms of the difference day to day even though we're running the latest Exynos processor uh, in the the S7 Edge and that's because it's coming with a very nice uh, like uh, stock build of Android it doesn't have to process TouchWiz on top uh, and you'll find that the day-to-day -day usage of the device is very comparable in terms of the speed uh, and that's amazing considering the uh, retail price of the device you know as I said roughly half the price uh, so if you're looking for something a bit more affordable then the Nexus 6P is definitely a better option here uh, you're gonna have to really you know stump up a lot for the S7 Edge because it's new and that curved display as well so uh, other than that uh, we do have uh, the AMOLED technology in both of them now Samsung generally tends to keep its best technology to its own phones and that's understandable uh, but you know in terms of the actual uh, y the colors etc 6P doesn't do half a bad job when it comes to the screen technology. I wouldn't say it's quite as high quality as the the uh, S7 Edge, but you know they're both 2K at the end of the day. They both have the Super AMOLED blacks and and you know very nice high contrasty uh, colors. So uh, really, you know, even though the display is probably not quite as high quality as the S7 Edge. Uh, it's not a meaningful difference to you know justify paying double the price here really uh, so the display you know definitely meets my needs it could be a little bit uh, pink like in 
terms of some of the colours compared to the S7 Edge which is calibrated more towards a white kind of colour which is nice uh, but that's uh, not a huge issue as I said. Uh, other things to consider here with the 6P is the Type-C connectivity uh, which I've really actually sort of migrated to now in terms of uh, using the 6P as a daily driver you know when I'm using phones which don't have the the Type-C it becomes very annoying trying to you know plug it in you know uh, like messing around which way it's supposed to go whereas with the 6P you can just plug it in and then off you go you get your fast charging you know fast data transfer all that good stuff so it's quite weird how Samsung doesn't uh, you know want to go with the latest USB technology uh, I think now it's fully compliant with the uh, 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 fast charge 3.0 so you know there shouldn't be any reason why they shouldn't be going with that really uh, and uh, the next reason why you should consider 6p is the updates now the updates on the uh, the S7, the, sorry, the S6 uh, has been a little bit slow, if you ask me. Like the Note 5, etc., took a while to get up to date to Marshmallow. Uh, but the 6P, you know, it's been on Marshmallow for ages now. When it comes to, you know, the software, you can see we do have the March security patch level. Uh, I'd expect it to be on April security patch level, to be honest, but. Uh, nevertheless, you know, you're going to get uh, much better software support, I think, with the stock uh, build. So if software, you know, and security is something that is important to you, then you definitely should consider this. Even though Samsung is doing quite a good job here, you can see we do have uh, the 1st uh, of March patch level here with the S7 Edge. So uh, hopefully they will keep that up, but personally I'd put my money on stock devices having Android N quicker generally. Uh, and uh, obviously uh, there is also the issue of uh, like the actual software in terms of it being closer to what Google you know wants it to be etc uh, so I think uh, that it could be good for some people who enjoy the more stock experience here and don't want to deal with you know TouchWiz and it's uh, interesting things but personally I've been quite impressed with the way TouchWiz has been improved to the point where it's very usable nowadays anyway and a lot of the TouchWiz features are coming towards the stock like the multitasking etc so it's not a massive difference really now the final thing I want to talk about is the camera uh, which uh, the camera on the S7 Edge is a uh, 1.7 aperture I think uh, both of them 12 megapixel obviously I think the area where the S7 or Samsung devices in general really dominate the Nexus uh, devices is in terms of the camera software which gives you a lot more th stuff to do you know you got your live broadcast etc you know your pro mode you don't get any of that on stock and it feels very you know basic and bare but what you do get is a camera which is capable you know it'll do the job in pretty much any light uh, you know low light etc the S7 Edge might be that little bit better but it's not like a massive step up really uh, compared to you know what you you might think it is uh, they're both at the end of the day you know very competent in regards to what they're bringing to the table so uh, I wouldn't say that the camera is a massive reason to upgrade really you know you're getting your 4k video recording as well so you know maybe we'll see a massive uh, step up when it comes to the uh, the Note 6 uh, a little bit more kind of something interesting but I haven't noticed a massive difference even with the Nexus 5X really you know it's not been a massive difference that uh, I was expecting so very nice camera quality on the 6P and definitely you know Nexus users aren't uh, falling behind when it comes to the camera tech so those are the main issues that I'd like to point out here you know if you're looking at the 6P or the S7 Edge arguably the best Android phones out at the moment you know very debatable but personally I'd probably limit it to these two for those who are looking for the absolute best right now uh, but yeah Hope you uh, enjoyed the video, found it helpful, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.